Fashion Coder, welcome. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, I'm really excited because uh, you were one of the people who agreed to do a tutorial. And uh, I think the topic you have prepared is the Pulse Chain Testnet. Yes, it is. Awesome. Well, I'll let you take it away for your 20 minute presentation. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. All thank right. You. Let's get started. So first and foremost, Maddie, seriously, thank you so much for letting me do this. I love Pulse Chain, love Hex, and I just wanted to tell you that you are absolutely legendary for doing something like this. Second thing, I want to give a shout out to my dad for helping me put this presentation together. Um, he is so diligent in what he does every single day. He has a whole entire crypto routine, which includes him going in and going through the test net and making sure that everything's together. So he's really going to be ready day one when Pulse Chain comes out. So excited for him um, and just all of us as we go through this. So um, once, let's see, we sure, there we go. Thank you. Um, we'll get started. All right. So to go over what is going to happen today. So I am going to go through and basically show everything that we have going on within the testnet. Um, I'm going to go over the pulse chain part as well as pulse X and then go into the pulse bridge. And some of them are going to be more brief than others. Um, one disclaimer. So my background's in software development. I used to be a software developer and if you're in software development, you get this joke that like doing a live demo of something is very risky um, just because you don't know what's going to happen. And so uh, just give me grace if something happens as we move forward as I do this live. Um, but I've been practicing and just making sure that everything is in place for this. So we're going to start right here with Pulse Chain. Right here, you can see that I have one active stake. So I made this wallet last night or the night before and i was able to come in get some t pulse um and be able to come in and stake so right here you can see that i do have this one stake with a thousand pulse in it um just another little tidbit that we have going on is right now if i go to my metamask we're going to see that we are in pulse chain testnet version 2b so what that means is this is everything within this as we move forward into version three, which I hope is soon, um, it's going to be a little bit different probably, but this is the tutorial on version 2B. So just so you know, that is what's going on. All right, so we have our active stakes right here, but how would you stake? So let's go into our validators. What you're going to do if you want to stake your pulse is you're going to come in, find a validator, and you are going to delegate your pulse to a validator to be able to stake it. So if we just click on this top one, we can see, let's see, we're gonna go like this, there we go. Um, we can see that there's a total number delegated right here, a total rewards earned, and then how much I personally have staked on this specific one, which is zero. So um, if we try to come in here and add something, we are going to quickly find out that I do not have enough um, T pulse to be able to do this, which is totally fine. So a minimum of 0.01% is needed. So we're actually going to go to page three <laughs> and I'm going to show you some there. But before we go there, um, as you can see, there's a couple of different things that are kind of highlighted. So you can see that you can tell if it's in rotation or if it's not. So yes or no, if it has misdemeanors or felonies. Um, I ended up like coming back into my own testament with all my own stuff. And I was delegating to someone who had like 74 felonies or something like that. I was like, oh, wow, good. <laughs> I'm glad that I haven't looked at this in a while. Um, but we can see the stake that I made that we saw on my active states, stakes page. So right here we have that thousand. But guess what? We're going to go in and we're going to stake um and delegate to this one all right so it does have a total rewards earned of zero but that's okay we're just doing this for the purpose of actually adding it so we're going to do the plus button here and let's just do a thousand again so i have about seven hundred and eighty thousand um pulse in this specific wallet um so we're just going to do a thousand because i want to use more for a uh, pulse x so i'm going to click confirm this is going to pop up up here and then we're going to confirm the transaction through MetaMask. And eventually we'll get a little tag that will show um, that 
it went through. And I think it will also pop up right here. So we can just wait one second um, and it will also pop up in our active stakes. Um, something that's kind of nice too. Yep, there we go. We can go in and we can do the minus and take away as well. All right, so that right there is what we can do with polls. If you would like to be a validator, you can. You can come in here and register. Um, and then there's also rules and frequently asked questions. Um, and I always think that the frequently asked questions part is like the best part of the websites because you actually really get your uh, questions answered well. Okay, so that's Pulse Chain. All right, so that's a Richard Hart project. If you didn't already know, I'm sure you already knew that. Now let's go to PulseX. And this is also a Richard Hart project. And there is a lot going on here. So we have two different things. We have the trade, which has exchange, limit orders, and liquidity. And then if we come to earn, it has farms and pools. Now for this specific instance, what we're going to do is I already have a liquidity pair for Pulse and PulseX, and I'll show you what I've done with that. But I want to be able to come in and do and get some USDC. All right, so I'm going to do 500,000 Pulse for looks like 2,718 USDC. So I'm gonna come in and swap. So PulseX is a DEX, so it's a decentralized exchange where you get to come in and do a swap. I'm sure you've done this before on something maybe called Uniswap or SushiSwap or something like that. But this is going to be Pulse Chain's DEX, um, which is awesome. So we're gonna to come in here, click the swap. We'll check all this, make sure it's exactly what we want and then confirm the swap. Then yet again, we're going to come down here and confirm this within our MetaMask. Awesome. And if I haven't already added USDC to MetaMask, I can do that. I like that um, setup that they have because it just makes it more user friendly. All right, and now we can see right here that I have that balance. Okay, so we're going to skip limit orders for a second and go to liquidity um, because I want to make a liquidity pair, all right? So I have my pulse and I have my USDC and I want to make a liquidity pair so then I can actually go and earn money on it through the farms. So right here, we're going to find liquidity pairs. I'm going to click on that and we're going to do USDC. So this isn't super intuitive right now and I'm sure this is going to change, but if you hover over add liquidity, it becomes a button. Okay, so this is the place where we're going to put in a certain amount and from here, we're going to be able to see that they're going to equal each other. The pulse will equal what our USDC is. So we can kind of play with it. Um, that's 100,000. So it's about, what, a fifth of what we did. And we can create this liquidity from it. But I kind of want to do more. So <laughs> we're going to just put a two in front of that. All right. And then we're going to enable USDC. So it it always ask, will ask us certain enabling questions. So enabling Pulse and USDC. And I've already enabled Pulse before. So we'll enable that right there. Again, we're going to confirm. And then it'll take a second. And then eventually it's going to have us supply it. And that will create our liquidity pair. So as you can see, we have literally the exact, almost the exact same amount of dollar value of Pulse to USDC that we are pairing together, hence the liquidity pair. All right, so we're going to click supply and we're going to confirm the supply and we're going to have to go to MetaMask again. MetaMask is heavily involved in this, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, and then we have our pair. So we're going to close that there. All right, before we continue on this, I do want to jump back over to our limit orders because I want to go through everything in the trade option. All right, limit orders are cool. So I made a limit order earlier today, but if we come in here and just look at, say um, we do, let's see, 100. So this is, I'm going to explain this one right here. So we have 100 pulse and we're looking at what it would be if we sold that right now. We'd get 638 pulse X if we did that swap. And so that's selling the pulse at uh, 6.38. Okay, what if I don't think that's a good deal? That's fine. I can come in here and put a different number in. So in the the limit order I already have, um, I put I, a limit price of seven. So if it ever hits that, it will fill that order. 
But say I don't think seven's good either. Say I think eight's good. Um, I can come in and change that and then also change the duration of it. So let's just leave it at a month. Um, and so for every, so for 100 pulse, I'll be getting 800 pulse six. So let's, let's place the limit order. <laughs> so confirm there. And yet again, here we have MetaMask. All right, we're gonna confirm that, close that. And then that limit order will pop up. There's our transaction receipt and it will pop up in here and we'll be able to see that. Awesome, there it is. So we have one at seven and one at eight. All right, so that's the limit orders, which is also a really nice function um, that this has. Okay, so let's let's switch our brain back to the liquidity pairs. So if we come into farms, we are actually able to earn on our liquidity pair. So I said this earlier, I already made a liquidity a liquidity pair earlier today that's Pulse X and Pulse. So as you can see right here, I did about $500 of Pulse X and $500 of Pulse, which then I smashed those together through the liquidity um, pair and then was able to come in and stake it right here. And as you can see, I have already earned 13 cents of incentive. Um, so that's awesome. So we can actually go in and harvest this. So let's come in here, confirm it. And that is submitted. We can also take away or add to our specific uh, pairs that we are farming. Okay, as we wait for this, we are going to do the USDC and Pulse one. So if we click on this expansion, we are going to enable the farm. So we do want to farm our specific liquidity pair of USDC and Pulse. And MetaMask again, confirm. Okay, and then it will, I think it's supply is what it will say. That's a guess, we'll see. Um, but it will eventually allow us to be able to come in and do that. So, oh, enable, I was wrong. Uh, oh, or stake, <laughs> all of the things. Okay, we're gonna stake it. And we're just going to do the max value. Confirm. And then we're going to go back over here again. Confirm that. Okay, so farming is a double-sided stake because it is that liquidity pair. It has the Pulse as well as the Pulse X, or in this case, it has USDC um, and the Pulse. And something that I really like about this page that is super intuitive is say I hadn't have already have made that liquidity pair, it literally gives me a link right here. So I'm able to come in and do that. And look, we have a liquidity pair right here that's being farmed. All right, so that is our farming and you can come in here these are all the ones that are live you can come in and see the ones that are finished which i actually haven't ever clicked this button to be honest with you it looks like nothing there. that's okay um if we come into pools though we will see something that's changed all right so we do not have any pools that are live um the last pool that was live was actually in april of 2022 so it's been a hot second since this has been live but if we come into finish we can actually see that there was this specific pool. Now, pools is single-sided, and so you're doing a single-sided stake of PulseX. So in this exact instance, what you would do is you'd come in, do the whole enable, you'd confirm, you'd stake it, uh, and then you would earn the PRT from it. And so this is an awesome option as well, uh, just to be able to use your PulseX in that specific way of that. Okay, and then if we come into here, let's let's go to the bridge so i've actually been having issues with this today so i'm just going to briefly go over it so what is a bridge <laughs> so pulse chain is going to be a blockchain and say we have another blockchain like ethereum and you want to bring over your assets from ethereum to pulse chain you are going to use the bridge to bridge in the assets from the other chain and within this specific scenario we are in testnet, which is great. And Ethereum has a testnet that's called RinkBee. So you're able to go in and get coins within RinkBee if you want to try this out and be able to do it that way. So there are so many different videos on this on um, YouTube. So if you're curious and haven't been able to do this before, go to YouTube, search the videos um, of how to do a pulse chain bridge and you'll be able to find stuff there but it's going to be handy if you're interested in bridging. All right, 
next thing <laughs> there's so many things going on we are going to go to the burn all right so this is the pulse sex buy and burn and it you may have heard about this before um but this is a place where you are able to literally go burn <laughs> the token um and it, it's actually burning it so it's not going to exist anymore so if we come in here so we have the pulse usdc pair as well as the let's see the other one that i did was oh it's not in here we're just going to do this one right now um so if i were to burn this right now it's going to be about a cent <laughs> so we're going to click burn right here and it'll ask us to confirm you pay the fee for the burn confirm and then that will be submitted and then poof it'll be gone um the thing about the burn is it allows there to be scarcity and when there's scarcity usually it'll drive that price up so this is a great function and it is um something that is somewhat unique to this and if you have more questions there's also lots of videos on this that you can get into okay something that i found earlier today okay let's see pulse x bounty has been sent to your wallet awesome it's exactly what i like to see all right Something that I found today that I haven't seen before, if you just click on the three, and this probably won't be something that is like continuing, but if you click on the three dots, it will bring you to a dashboard. <laughs> All right, so right here, you can see the PulseX info and the analytics. So this is the full overview. Um, we can scroll down and you can see like all the transactions that are going on, uh, prices. So it, it's fun to see just like what this ecosystem of testnet is at. And so there's all that, there's the top pools, um, and then you can go in and see all the transactions. So it looks like <laughs> there's been lots of transactions even within the last like seven minutes. So people are using this, which is a really good sign. Um, and then if we scroll up, there's also just more on the pools and then the tokens. So if you want more specifics than what we were just looking at, you can find that here. And then if we also come into here, if you haven't ever looked at this or if you haven't ever um, gone to Pulse Chain's Twitter or their Telegram, you can go in, you can ask questions and be able to find it through here. And then one other thing, I do want to go back to the Pulse Staking. Um, there is a sacrifice checker. So if you did sacrifice, you can come in and check with your wallet of the sacrifice that you did make um, just to make sure that you are getting what you sacrificed for. So there's a lot going on with Pulse Chain Testnet. And it's definitely something that if you have time, it's worth it to go in and just test things out. Get familiar with it because it's important to know what you're doing, especially if you want to get in and be able to just, you know, move around comfortably. And right now it's testnet and it's a safe place to practice. So you know that if you do make a move, like, like it's a test material and it's for them. So that is our Pulse Chain Testnet. And Maddie, I will turn it over to you. All right. Thank you so much. We got uh, Crypto Coffee coming up next. He's not quite here yet. So um, let me let me think of a good question to ask you. So what um, what are you most excited about when it, when it comes to, to Pulse Chain? Or what did you learn by putting together this tutorial? Ooh, OK. So I hadn't ever done a limit order in a testnet, actually. And so that was something that like I learned how to do, which was kind of fun. Um, and something that I really like and it just finally clicked with testnet of actually doing it was liquidity pairs i didn't really understand what a liquidity pair was um just prior to pulse chain but mm -hmm. once i started learning about it and looking at pulse x and just like all the different steps it made sense and so yeah i think that was something that was a a happy thing where it was like wow i actually like understand this now and then with um with the limit orders, it was just fun to do it in a sense of the whole Pulse ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, and and you know the limit orders there on Pulse Chain Testnet appear to be able to be set perpetually. Um, there's no like seven day limit like there is on Matcha or something. So um, that's another thing that people can get excited about. Uh, yeah. So well, thank you so much for doing this tutorial. You rock. Thank you so much for having me. And thanks so much for doing this again. <laughs>
My pleasure. So everybody go follow Fashion Coder on YouTube, Fashion Coder 6. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.